Pterodactyl hair. And elk skins. The human shop rag. And today's how to video is gonna be on this here Onan with this fuel pump that's mounted to the carburetor. I'm gonna show you how we bypass this fuel pump. We're gonna do that with this here Briggs fuel pump, part number 808-656. So this fuel pump quit working, it quit pumping. We couldn't get it to stay running. We pulled the top of the carburetor off and cranked it over and no gas was coming out. So that told us this thing was bad. Now I know you can go on eBay. Carol, you can go on eBay or Amazon and you can buy a, a repair kit for like $20. Yeah, well, I've used those cheap repair kits before and they last for a while. I like this way better. So the way this thing works is it pumps the fuel through here and there's a, a hole up in here and it pumps it into the carburetor through this area right here. So we're going to use some of the parts of the old one. And the parts we're going to use is going to be this diaphragm, this rubber, flat rubber diaphragm, and this gasket, and the plate. Now when this was mounted, it was mounted like this, with the fitting at the bottom. We're gonna flip it around so the fitting's at the top, because we want the gas to go in this way. Now I know there's other guys that'll take this block and they'll take these check valves out of there and they'll put the whole thing back together, but we're just gonna do it this way. So what you do is take this flat rubber diaphragm here and punch a hole in it. Now I used a, a ferrule from a, like my brother ferrule. I used a ferrule from a piece of tubing, a, a tubing fitting, a compression fitting. I used a little ferrule in there and I stuck this on a piece of wood and I stuck the ferrule on there and I whacked it with a hammer. Now, you could do the same thing with a gasket punch. If you got a gasket punch, you can punch a hole in it with a gasket punch. So we want that right up there at the top. That hole that's punched in there, see? Because this is the hole we're gonna use. And then we want this gasket. Because we need to block this off. If we just stuck this on there with the gasket, the gas is gonna go through these channels and it's gonna come out these four holes. You can block them holes off. We thought about that too. We thought about, you know, taking some taro putty and squishing some taro putty in there. But doing it this way, if in case you ever wanna go back to original, it's a lot easier. All you gotta do is buy a kit. So put your rubber diaphragm on there with the hole punched in the top and then put your gasket on there. I'll even line up the little tab like it was before. See how it's got that little tab on the corner? And then you're gonna have to get some some shorter screws. Put your down there. Thank you Mr. Skins man. You're so welcome. these are the original screws and then I just found some shorter ones. I think they're like 1024 screws. Oh, my handy assistant. Yep. Mr. Mr. Elkskin. He's the fire it up guy. Fire it up, fire it up, fire it up. Isn't that a registered trademark yet? Yep, it sure is. So then you gotta find a spot to mount the fuel pump. Now this originally had some like firewall here, but that thing's missing. So we're gonna mount it. This is our end. We're gonna mount it like this.
And then we're gonna have to shorten this gas line up. Right, Mr. Skins? Yep. Where's your hand? Ooh, look at those cutters you got. Snip some off of there. Watch my finger. That thing will take your finger off, won't it? Oh yeah. You don't want to get anything caught in there. Like your finger. I'm sure that'll hurt. All right, Mr. Skins man. A little bit more, okay. That's off the other piece, remember we gotta... Hey, watch out, you're getting my finger there. <laughs> you think that's funny? There's that. This is our pulse line. Because these fittings on this Briggs filter, there's little tiny arrows in there. You mean fuel pump? Or fuel pump. Um. Thank you. There's little arrows, little tiny arrow that tell you in, out, and there's a P on here for pulse. Little tiny molded into the fuel pump. So you know the direction. So there's your N, there's your P, and then the other one's out. And then we want to route this. That should be long enough. We want to make sure we're not going to interfere with the throttle. Is that going to interfere with the air cleaner? Well, um... Nope. It's just going to push on it a little, so we want that there. And then a piece of fuel line going to here. About right there. I'm getting a little close with them cutters. Tighten that up. Tighten it up. Tighten it up. Tighten it up. Tighten it up. I'm going to annoy you. Tighten it up. Tighten it up. Tighten it up! Tighten it up! Is that payback for all day? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Now we can fire it up! Fire it up! Fire it up! So subscribe to this YouTube channel. Carol fixes all. Point out your shirt there. Oh, skin. Yep. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Come on, come on. Catch up with your Onans or your Sears or your Sears. Go to our web store. Buy some Carol apparel, like he's wearing a hoodie, and I got this nice shirt on. Spark plug necklaces, hats. What else do we got? He don't know. <laughs> and as always. There's your dinner. There's your dinner. Woo! Don't you hoot and <laughs> I guess. Go do it. Woo! <laughs> <laughs>